good afternoon to all of you now in the last class we have discussed integration strategy in today's class we will discuss diversification strategy now first of all i will like to tell you that what the diversification strategy is now to understand diversification strategy we have to understand ansof product market matrix now we have to understand ansof product market matrix now if you see the ansof product market matrix when new products are manufactured for new market then diversification takes place now when the new products are manufactured for new markets then diversification takes place now here we need to understand the business definition the business definition in terms of customer group customer functions and alternative technologies one of the dimensions of business definition undergoes a change one of the dimensions of business definition undergoes a change now when the new products are produced for the new markets then diversification takes place then the diversification takes place now let us understand diversification with the help of a example now suppose one company is there that company is into magazine publishing a magazine publishing company is there now this company also starts publishing books then in some way this first business is related to the second business that is book publishing and magazine publishing are related business now this type of diversification is called as concentric diversification this is called as related diversification now another type of diversification is there which is called as unrelated diversification now what is unrelated diversification let us have a look at that now suppose this magazine publishing company starts manufacturing carpets now these two businesses that is magazine publishing and carpet manufacturing are no way related to each other these two businesses are no way related to each other now this type of diversification is called as the conglomerate diversification or unrelated diversification this is called as conglomerate diversification or unrelated diversification now this is this concentric diversification and conglomerate diversification are the two terms for related diversification and unrelated diversification respectively in the ansof terminology in the ansof terminology these are the concentric and the conglomerate diversification so this is the two different types of diversification now let us understand first of all the different uh, uh, types of concentric diversification the different types of concentric diversification now different types of concentric diversification the first one is marketing related concentric diversification marketing related concentric diversification now marketing related concentric diversification let us take example to understand this now one example is that suppose one company is there that company is into the business of in the business of manufacturing and marketing sewing machines so one company into the business of manufacturing and marketing sewing machines this company this company diversifies into kitchenware and home appliance business this company diversifies into kitchen appliances kitchenware and home appliances now this type of diversification is called as the this type of diversification is called as the marketing related concentric diversification this is called as marketing related concentric diversification now why marketing related concentric diversification because the range of the product the range of the product that is the kitchenware the home appliances and the sewing machines will be sold out through the chain of retail stores same retail stores so that's what the marketing related concentric diversification is now second type of diversification is there which is called as the uh, technology related concentric diversification now what this concentric related technology diversification is let us understand this now i will tell you the example suppose one company is there that company is into into leasing business leasing business the company is into leasing business higher purchase and then what happens this company diversifies and starts it starts uh, you know this uh, it starts uh, one particular business that is financing consumer durables then this type of diversification is called as the technology related concentric diversification 
now why cause why technology related concept of diversification because the same procedure is used the same procedure is used for financing the higher purchase for institutional customers and for consumer financing consumer financing for the consumer durables so same procedure is there and that's what this is called as technology related concentric diversification now third type of concentric diversification is called as marketing and technology related concentric diversification now what is this marketing and technology related concentric diversification let us understand this with the help of an example now suppose one company is there that company is into the business of one company is there into the business of designing manufacturing and marketing synthetic water tanks now this company designs manufactures and markets synthetic water tanks now synthetic water tanks the company manufactures and markets and this company diversifies and starts manufacturing designing manufacturing and marketing prefabricated doors and windows prefabricated doors and windows the company starts manufacturing and marketing now this type of diversification is called as marketing and technology related concentric diversification why let us understand this now marketing related concentric diversification that is all the products all the plastic products that is first one is all the plastic products like this synthetic water tanks are there synthetic water tanks then we are having prefabricated doors and windows all these products are sold through the same retail outlet and then this is the this is the called as marketing related concentric diversification and technology related diversification technology related in terms of what that is the same technology is used the same technology of plastic processing and engineering the same technology of plastic processing and engineering is used so that type of diversification is called as technology related diversification so this is the marketing and technology related concentric diversification so these are the three different types of concentric diversification fine let us uh, discuss now after this the conglomerate diversification or unrelated diversification conglomerate diversification or unrelated diversification now conglomerate diversification now when the company embarks for conglomerate diversification now before coming to this point let us understand few with the help of few examples in indian context the concentric diversification now i will tell you larson and tubro is a company now larson and tubro is a company is one of the largest private sector companies in construction and engineering business it is into construction and engineering business now this Larson and Tubro is basically generating large amount of revenue 80 to 85 percent of the revenue from construction and engineering business and then what happens that this company is into other businesses also this company is into other businesses also like it is into information technology this is into electronics and uh, electrical and electronics then the industrial product and the mining equipments so these are the different products that is a highly diversified company and Larson and Tubro has used very prudently very judiciously this company has used a particular uh, you know this uh, diversification strategy which is called as the concentric diversification now let us understand this now I will tell you that whatever the industrial products are manufactured like the cement is there or uh, cement is there or uh, this uh, uh, mining equipments are there these products are used in the construction business it's construction and engineering business so this company is one of the vibrant example of grow growing by concentric diversification or related diversification now let us take the second example now second example is of ifco now ifco stands for indian farmers and fertilizers cooperative limited now this company's major business this company's major business is to produce fertilizers and distribute fertilizers production and distribution of fertilizers is the core business of ifco now this company has diversified into other areas also like insurance general insurance for providing risk coverage to farmers and their crops so this is the excellent example of this concentric diversification is there so these two examples makes it very clear what concentric diversification is and how the companies are using concentric diversification to grow so this is the concentric diversification fine let us go to after this conglomerate diversification now this is the answer of terminology in answer of terminology 
conglomerate diversification or unrelated diversification now conglomerate diversification now when the company embarks on conglomerate diversification when the company is having surplus cash when the company is having surplus cash the when the company is having excess capital then the company embarks on entering into new ventures which is no way related to existing business which is in no way related to existing business now i will tell you that when the company should embark on conglomerate diversification now the company should embark on conglomerate diversification when the company thinks when the company thinks that whatever the excess capital are there that can be invested in the new ventures and it will create value for the shareholders it will create value for the shareholders it will create the it will build up the wealth for the organization then the company should embark on conglomerate diversification otherwise it is always prudent it is always prudent to pay those surplus cash to the shareholders in terms of dividends in terms of dividends you should pay that otherwise what will what, so when the company thinks that it can enhance the shareholders value it can increase the worth of the company then the company should embark on conglomerate diversification and then what the company should look for now the company's business leaders should look for those companies which are undervalued companies and go for a acquisition the company the company people should think of those companies which are undervalued companies and uh, you know this uh, the company should go for the acquisition of those companies the companies are acquired and then the companies are acquired and then uh, the companies are turned around quickly for profitability and whatever the profit whatever the turn around is process is done in a judicious manner so company is doing the turn around turn turning around the company which is a sick company into a profitable company and then sold out in the market at a hard price at a higher price the company is sold out in the market so this is what the conglomerate diversification is now it's well, one point is very important that we need to understand that the investors now investors should keep their portfolio of investment diversified rather than investing in diversified highly diversified companies so that also makes a lot of sense in the context of conglomerate diversification now after this i will tell you that uh, some of the companies which have grown by conglomerate diversification some of the companies which have grown by the conglomerate diversification is like uh, reliance industry reliance group reliance group of companies it's a highly diversified company into retail business into petrochemical business into textile business into telecommunication business so this company is a highly diversified company conglomerate diversification is there then we are having this aditya birla group aditya birla group is a highly diversified company or itc is there itc itc is a highly diversified company in the indian context or we are having general electric in the case of us multinational general electric is a highly diversified company so these are some of the companies which are highly diversified companies now after this i will tell you that why the companies embark on why the companies embark on diversification what is the reason why the companies diversify let's have a look at that now the first reason that i will tell you that why companies diversify is that there are sometimes environmental there are sometimes environmental regulations or sometimes regulatory measures are there like itc now itc was initially into the business of tobacco manufacturing tobacco manufacturing and marketing now this company realized that the marketing the environmental factors are changing very fast the environmental factors are changing very fast how come the environmental factors are changing that is you know this uh, anti smoking legislation is there we are having anti smoking legislation then we are having this growing health awareness and people are becoming more health conscious that smoking cigarette causes cancer or other types of problems so what the company thought the company now not only that the company also thought that uh, the, there is uh, anti smoking legislation is there then environmental pollution is there so keeping these all factors into consideration the company decided to diversify into paper business that is class book range of notebook and other you know this paraphernalia of writing so that is the uh, this, that is the you know this uh, the one of the reasons is there why the companies diversify now one of the vital reason why the companies diversify 
is that uh, you know this uh, the company wants to spread the risk of the business over several businesses the company wants to spread the risk of the business over several businesses like uh, one company is there into a seasonal product one company is there into seasonal product like uh, this what uh, that uh, air cooler manufacturing business air cooling manufacturing business air coolers the company manufactures so this is a seasonal product so to the, uh, spread the risk it's a seasonal product to spread the risk the company diversifies into another type of seasonal product like water heaters so what happens whatever the profits are there those profits are spread uniformly right through the year so that is what one of the reasons for diversification is now one of the reasons for diversification one of the reason for diversification is that uh, you know this uh, uh, the company wants to capitalize on its strength and capabilities every company is having some core competency every company is having some capability every company is having some core competency every company is having some capability and then what happens that that particular company wants to capitalize on that capability so suppose one company is excellent in providing after sales service so what the company can do the company can set up a unit which will provide the after sales service to a wide range of companies to a large number of companies so the company is capitalizing on its capabilities the company is capitalizing on its capabilities and at the same time the company is trying to overcome its weaknesses the company is trying to overcome weaknesses so this is today's discussion we will stop here and uh, from here we will proceed in the next class and thank you very much for listening read the text from azhar kazmi reinforce all these concepts from azhar kazmi thank you very much